Hello and welcome to the channel. This is Caleb Jones. I'm going to be talking about Designated Survivor Season 3, Episode 1. It's been a while since I've watched the show, but um, I just wanted to come back and see what Season 3 was like, especially because Designated Survivor, for those who don't know, it's a show that moved to Netflix for its final season. And so I know that the previous reviews are popular with you all, so I just wanted to see how the third season stacks up. So... The episode opens with Mars Harper, the uh, chief of staff, going around the White House, kind of trying to uh, communicate with different people about President Kirkman. And President Kirkman had just has just given the State of the Union, which was very divisive, where he basically called out both sides of the political aisle. So it sets up a situation where um, it, it doesn't look like he has a clear path forward. We actually see his vice president step down to run as the Democratic nominee. We're introduced to an infrastructure bill that he wants to pass, um, but it doesn't get enough votes, so it fails. And additionally, the rally he was going to hold in Iowa fails because his opponent has staffers send messages saying that is canceled. Um, when it actually isn't. He has bots basically say that. And so his whole plans for the the rally go away, his whole plans for the bill go away, but we see that he actually ends up going to a rally that already exists for those who think the system is broken, and he basically goes to this abandoned mall and gives this speech. It's a rousing speech, and everybody uh, seems to react uh, in a way that shows that they believe that they're being heard. He even hands off the mic to different people to have them speak about the issues that are pertinent to them. So as far as the side characters, we see that Hannah gets recruited to the CIA after being dismissed by the FBI um, for her, uh, de or her uh, actions last season. We see Seth, because of his quick thinking, as far as going to the rally, is prom promoted to communications advisor to the president. Aaron Shore <laughs> moves in with his girlfriend, which is about all the development he has, except he is shut down by Mars, who tried to go around, who he tried to go around to talk to the president about relief for, for Puerto Rico. Uh, Lynn Harper is basically a person with money who was originally going to go with Kirkman's opponent, and she chooses to instead go with Kirkman after hearing his rousing speech. And Emily Rhodes comes back from helping her mom to basically be special advisor to the president again. Now, this first episode is pretty rough. Um, I think they realized that they were on Netflix now so they could do what they want. So they swear to a level where it's not even it's it's distracting from the actual um actually distracting and they do stuff like they show uh the the back of a naked person in one scene it's completely unnecessary and not just being approved it's just it doesn't enhance the story at all and it was almost cringeworthy whenever they would have the dialogue and it's like they're like oh well we can have this scene let's just inject language so we can sound more mature uh which is definitely something that lower quality shows i think in general do they say if we add language, then it makes it mature. You see this with the Witcher Blood Origin and actually the Witcher Season 2, which I'm not a huge fan of. It's cool. I think it's a cool concept to have a president running who's uh, neither a, a Republican or a Democrat, but the show doesn't live up to the cool premise, at least with the premiere. So I'd give the premiere a 6.5 out of 10. It was okay. I am interested to see where the the season goes but at the same time um i wasn't amazed by the performances i wasn't amazed by the writing i wasn't amazed by the uh, uh, the direction of the show which is bad especially considering that this is the intro to the first season on netflix so if you enjoyed this designated survivor review remember to like comment and subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys later